Parker wants to celebrate his new job by attacking his mom, who's brushing her teeth. See, mom, you told me I'd never find a job, and now I have one. Take that! Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Early Pleasant View, a custom neighborhood that starts out 10 years before Vanilla Pleasant View. Now don't worry if this is your first time around on this channel or if it's been a while since you watched a video, I'll throw in little explanations as we go along. Today we return to the Langrak family, right here. Now since the last time we played this family, Kaylin has moved out and gotten married to Cassandra. This over here is her bed and as you can see Kaylin left so quickly that she still left uh, a shape in her bed. But yeah, now that Kaylin is no longer part of this household, we're going to get rid of her bed. And instead, we're putting a changing table over here for little Bastian, whose crib is standing here in the hallway. And to be quite honest with you, I had kind of expected that Zelda over here at this point would be married to Michael Bachelor, so we could turn this whole room into a nursery. But um, yeah, the game doesn't care about my plans and uh, we kind of have to go from here now. But at least this way Bastion isn't going to wake anyone up. Like if we put the crib with Zelda here in her room. So um, it's kind of the most practical arrangement. Anyway, it's almost 6 a.m. on a Friday morning and Ileana over here needs to go to work in a bit. So wake up Ileana because you are very, very hungry and her carpool will arrive in an hour. We have some moldy sushi sitting here in the kitchen which mirrors the state of this family pretty well because one of the last things that happened last time was that Parker beat up his mom several times and that's kind of the note we went out on. Speaking of Parker, he just came downstairs and he wants to go to the toilet but he can't right now because Ileana is in the shower. And Dustin really wants to make breakfast so of course we're going to allow that. Oh, Bastian is screaming. Okay, Parker, run before we have an accident over here. Oh my, we have four bouquets out here in front of the house. Anyway, Ileana is off to work. She's very hungry. I guess she can eat in the office. She is a vice president, by the way, and she really wants to get promoted. And Dustin has made some delicious pancakes for breakfast. Oh, the carpool for Zelda will arrive in an hour. So get up, Zelly and take a shower. Now Dustin has a couple of wishes about Bastion. So even though he cheated on his wife, he's being a good dad, at least for a bit. Let's give Bastion a bottle. So Parker, what are you up to? Cleaning the kitchen? Even though he's super sloppy, Parker still wants to get a job in the slacker career. So let's see if he can find that job. I don't remember if I already checked for today last episode, so uh, I guess we'll see. The available careers are Law, Gamer, in Parker's case that would be with a Y, Natural Scientist, the Business Career, and the Criminal Career. That would actually fit him as well, but um, it's not his wish, so we're going to leave it at that. Parker's just going to play some computer games, because why wouldn't you? You might remember from the Pleasant episode that Parker has now a relationship with Daniel Pleasant, or, well, I guess a relationship is overselling it, but uh, they had something going on. Parker had his first woohoo with Daniel, and Parker now wants to have two loves at once, and woohoo with three different sims so honestly i think we should go out into the world and see if we can find someone for parker let's go to the public pool because that's where i would like to be right now <laughs> it's rather warm around here i'd actually prefer to be at the beach right now 
Anyway, here we are at the public pool. So, Parker, go and dive into that swimming pool. Darren Dreamer has joined us in the pool. Let's play Marco Polo. Parker is getting out of the pool and by now a couple of sims have turned up here. But according to ACR, no guy here is uh, straight or even bi. So that's a bit of a shame. So I guess Parker can go to the toilet and then we'll go to a different lot. Also Parker is hungry so let's take care of that. Oh uh, Parker, sure you don't want to change into your normal clothing? I mean okay. Here we are at the 125 cafe. I think it was 125? Oh, look at all this junk up here. <laughs> That's such a cozy atmosphere. So, Parker, go ahead and let yourself be seated. Okay, according to ACR, we have... Well, we don't have more choices. We have choices on this lot. And once Parker has gotten himself a snack, we're going to see if we can invite one of those guys on a date. Get me a fried chicken. Oh, Darren Dreamer is here as well. And Nina Caliente is here too. They're all waiting around here to be served. Oh, Parker got uh, his food thrown on him. <laughs> and I wasn't even there to film it. Too bad I couldn't film your humiliation, Parker. But then again, you're in your swimming trunks at a public restaurant, so maybe you're into that. I don't know. Okay, wonderful. Parker is now no longer hungry. So why don't you go and scope the room, Parker, and tell us which one of these guys you would like to talk to. Oh, he wants to talk to Toby. Let's greet him. Oh, Parker wants to ask Darren on a date. Um, Darren is a straight Parker and also I am very sure he's in a happy monogamous relationship with Darlene. So forget about that. Oh, our first chat with Toby is not going well at all. Maybe we can win his affection with a joke? Okay, that went better. Oh no, they have negative chemistry. Wait, why did you choose him when you were scoping the room, Parker? Uh, maybe scope the room again? Mm, he's still going for Toby. Oh, now Parker wants to flirt with Toby. We can't even do that yet. So let's work our way up to that. Oh yes, Parker, maybe you can seduce Toby with your very limited piano skills. Oh, he hates it. Parker, stop! That's not how you get a date by playing piano very dreadfully. Oh, he doesn't want to dance. Okay, Parker is very stinky now. So I think we're going to walk home now. But at least we now have a candidate to be Parker's second love. Okay, what happened in the meantime? Dustin was standing in front of the TV and cheering at something. Dustin wants to buy a baby toy. That is something we can afford, so let's do that. I bought this little thing, so let's make use of it and place little Bastion down there. Not sure if it's a wise decision to place your baby on the floor, but uh, what would I know? Dustin wants to be best friends with Kaylin, so maybe he should invite her over. Maybe he's going to apologize for his wife and for Parker, because uh, at Kaylin's wedding they were beating each other up. Well, let's make crap Suzette for Kaylin. Oh, who's already here? I wish we could make ice cream. I think I need to download ice cream for The Sims. I'd really like some ice cream right now. Mmm, Ben and Jerry's. Hey, sweetheart. Oh, he's complimenting her. Oh, sweetie, you look so happy now that you're married. And now they're best friends. So maybe at least Kaylin can be close to her dad. So uh, I wanted to make crap Suzette. So why don't I do that? Or rather, why doesn't Dustin do that? Oh, Kaylin is thinking about adoption! You and Cassie are definitely going to do that next round. Kaylin is checking her Tumblr. 
which actually shouldn't exist yet since it's the 90s. But let's not think about that too hard. How are our crabs doing? They're done and they're looking delicious and just as Ileana has come home. And now burn them! Perfect! Uh, the first thing Ileana does once she's home is reading the newspaper. A uh, little Bastion is kind of crying, but he looks green in our little panel over here. So I don't know, Bastion. How am I supposed to interpret that? Oh, and Zelda has come home too. Zelda wants to go on a date. Of course, I would love to make that happen for her. And actually, what I want to try is set her up with Michelle Bachelor, who is the clone of Michael Bachelor. I think that would be really entertaining if Zelda ended up with Michael's clone after rejecting his proposal twice. But Zelda and Michelle don't know each other yet, like at all. They're at zero in their relationships panel, so we have to chat with him on the phone first a little before we can ask him out. <laughs> oh, they're lecturing Bastion for... for what exactly? <laughs> for pooping in his diaper? Oh, seriously, Bastion? What are you, a baby? Oh, Bastion has aged up! Already? Wow, I totally, uh... wasn't aware that we were already there. Ileana wants to hire a nanny. That kinda sounds like she doesn't trust Dustin to raise her kid because uh, Parker didn't turn out too well and Kaylin, um, well, she married Rich, but she didn't go to college either. So maybe Ileana is like, um, I'd rather leave this to a professional. <laughs> Zelda wants to play on the couch and I mean, she's only... 48, so she's not too old for that. Dustin wants to have another baby. <laughs> of course he does. Honestly, let's get rid of all these bouquets over here. They were probably all from Zelda's numerous dates. Uh, is Kaylin still around here? Or did she leave? Oh, she's up here playing video games. Dustin really wants to teach Bastion a nursery rhyme. So that's what he's doing right now. And it's going pretty well so far. Oh, Bastion has gained a point of charisma from being taught a nursery rhyme. Oh, Kaylin is admiring her mom. Even though she and her brother were beating each other up at her wedding. Oh, look who's back. It's Parker. And uh, Ileana is poking him. She's like, what were you doing all day? Going around picking up guys when you should be getting a job. Oh, <laughs> slap, slap, slap. Oh, not that again. Oh, now Parker is crying. <laughs> He's like, oh, why doesn't she see me the way I want to be seen? Oh, uh, which does not include being beaten up. Ileana picked the fight, but I don't think she's going to win. She hasn't won any fight with her son until now. Actually, uh, she has won one of their fights. Okay, Parker is stinky. He can go take a shower. And uh, I had sent Zelda to bed, but I think she can now ask Mitchell out on a date. Now that she has a bit of energy, now that she's taken a nap. Please say yes, Mitchell. Oh, he said yes. So change into your normal clothes, Zelda. And then you can go seduce another guy. Oh, Ileana is poking Zelda as well. Oh, they're not getting along either. I guess Ileana is still mad because of the cheating. Well, anyway, Zelda is now off to another midnight date. Oh, Kaylin is taking care of her little brother. Oh, she's truly a family sim. Anyway, let's... Now focus on Zelda. Doesn't that look fancy? Hello, Mitchell. Oh, the first thing Zelda does is flirt with him all on her own. Very nice. Oh, and they're friends now. Seems like Mitchell has red hair as opposed to Michael, who has brown hair. And also Mitchell is a popularity sim, where Michael is a knowledge sim. 
Even though I think he changed his aspiration along the way at some point during his life. And he used to be a popularity sim as well. Zelda and Mitchell have currently won both, by the way. Look, there are Darlene Dreamer and her clone right across from each other. Darlene is not impressed. Uh, Zelda is autonomously kissing Mitchell. Oh, and they have a crush. Oh, Darlene, yes, you're pregnant. We already know that. Oh, and um, Zelda and Mitchell are getting into the photo booth. Wow, I, I didn't do anything. I didn't initiate one romantic interaction between these two. Whatever, guys. <laughs> you're grown-ups, you can do whatever you want. Oh, Darlene, you're trying to talk to us about math? Well, we're on a date and now you're booing us? Darlene, what's wrong with you? Well, anyway, Zelda has the wish to kiss Mitchell and flirt with him and give him a back rub. So, of course, we're going to fulfill all her wishes. Oh, Zelda wants to fall in love with Michael. <laughs> Maybe she thinks now she made a mistake. Maybe she's like, oh, I should have married him after all. Let's get ourselves a snack from this pink machine over here. It looks very cute. Oh, Herb has come over to greet Zelda with a kiss. Okay, seems like Mitchell didn't see that. <laughs> and also there's Coral over here. Apparently she didn't see that either. Zelda really wants to get into the whirlpool over here, which is right across from the dance floor. Interesting setup. I imagine in real life that would result in many, many accidents. But luckily this is not the real world. Oh, she's being lectured by Mrs. Crumplebottom. All right, Mrs. Crumplebottom. I'm changing back into my normal clothes, even though I look really hot in my swimsuit. Okay, we now have a dream date and it's in the morning and actually Zelda has to go to work in a couple of hours, so let's end the date here. So Zelda, that's enough. Get yourself a taxi and go home. Zelda wants to have five first dates. Let's lock that in for her. I'm sure we can make that happen. Zelda also has two bolts with Frankie Mashuga, who is originally from Sims 1. So maybe that's our next candidate. I'd love to have everyone date actual characters instead of just random townies. I think that's more interesting that way. So let's see what has happened in the meantime. Dustin has gone to bed apparently. Oh, uh, and Ileana and Parker are at it again. And by it I mean violence. Oh, uh, Michael Bachelor has left us a gift. A uh, fancy, fancy, uh, what's the word? Well, how much is that worth? Oh, 5,800. Cool. Uh, I'm going to put that into Zelda's inventory just in case. Oh, and they're fighting in front of little Bastion. <laughs> they have no shame. So maybe go to back bed, Parker, before you end up killing each other. So let's teach Bastion to go potty. Maybe the son of hers won't end up hating her. Maybe he's going to end up becoming the favorite child. The one that's being pampered all the time. And maybe Parker is going to be even madder about that. And Kaylin is going home. Bye Kaylin. Ileana has gone to bed as well. Now everyone is sleeping except for Zelda of course who's still out on her date. Ileana has the day off today, by the way, so she can do, well, something today, even though I feel like that something is going to be getting beaten up by her son again. Dustin has woken up. He can change Bastion's diaper once he has <laughs> changed his own diaper, so to speak, by which I mean going to the toilet. So time to change little Bastion's diaper. Even though that's Dustin's fear, but the babies don't care about that, Dustin. The babies that you keep wanting to have. Dustin wants to teach Bastion to talk, so that's what he's doing now. Well, the carpool for Zelda will arrive in an hour, and she's still not back from her date. Oh, Parker has woken up and he's playing some video games. 
Okay, Parker, you can check the job offerings today. I mean, we've been checking them every day since we started this Let's Play and we still haven't found the slacker career. We have the music career today, the dance career. I had forgotten that existed. Oh, Zelda has come back just in time to go to work. She wants to change into her PJs. <laughs> She'd rather go to bed and not to work, but well, you gotta do what you gotta do. And back to the job offerings. Athletic career, science, slacker career, finally! Yes, we would like to take this job. Okay, awesome. Oh, and um, Parker wants to celebrate his new job by attacking his mom, who's brushing her teeth. See, mom, you told me I'd never find a job and now I have one. Take that! And Parker won. I'm not sure if you should be proud of that, Parker. I mean, there's standing up to someone and then there's just bullying. And I feel like you're doing the latter at this point. Oh, Ileana is crying because her son keeps beating her up. So let's see if we can invite Toby over for a date. T -t Toby. Okay, Toby will be right over. Maybe we can throw away the old newspaper. Hoping that will make a good impression. Oh, there's a new bouquet in front of our door. I suppose it's from Mitchell. Okay, Toby is here and he is a knowledge sim, by the way. I guess that bouquet is from Mitchell. Uh, so, since he's a knowledge sim, no wonder that they have uh, negative chemistry. That is indeed a poor match, but doesn't mean we can still hook up, right? Oh, Bastian has learned to talk. Nice. Let's see if we can teach him to go potty as well. Okay, Parker and Toby are friends now. That's a good start. And Toby is only thinking about skill points and wolves. Oh, Toby has a crush now. Maybe he's imagining Parker as a wolf OC. <laughs> Maybe Toby is a furry. <gasps> Let's see if Toby wants a kiss. That seems like a yes. Oh, I think Ileana has cleaned the bathroom. <laughs> Not the toilet, obviously. But I mean, she's the only one with uh, a lot of neat points. Everyone else is sloppy. Like, everyone else literally has zero neat points. Oh, speaking of, let's take a look at Bastian's personality. He's very neat, like his mom. He's kind of a medium between shy and outgoing. He's pretty lazy and very playful, but uh, he's rather grouchy. Seems like he's very much a mix between his parents. Oh, by the way, I think Toby had, um, like, I'm not sure if he had a date with Cornelia Goth, but I think... I think that was kind of a possibility at one point. And uh, Toby is by, by the way. Oh, look who's home. It's Zelda. Parker and Toby are making out now. And I feel like I know what Parker's next wish is going to be. Oh, Toby got his wish to see a wolf. There is a wolf on the lot. Uh, Bubbo. Bubbo the wolf. Oh, uh, Parker's wish now is actually not to have a woohoo with Toby. He wants to meet someone new. <laughs> Maybe that's a sign that these two aren't meant to be. I mean, imagine going on a date with someone and thinking, Oh boy, I wish I could meet someone new. I mean, maybe you don't have to imagine. Anyway, Toby is in love with Parker now. And I think we're going to leave it at that. Date over. Oh, now Parker wants to have a woohoo in bed. So, let's see if we can do that. Apparently we can. So have fun with that, guys. Meanwhile, Bastian really needs his bottle. So let's see if we can invite Frankie over for a date. Gazelda wants to have five first dates. Oh, and the phone is ringing again. Oh, someone fell in love. Hi, I'm Jeannie. Uh, no, we don't want to go to downtown with you. You're just a townie. Parker fell in love while doing it on his parents' bed. Oh, goodness, this... <laughs> this whole family is really weird. 
Really weird and broken. Oh, and Frankie is here. Uh, ow. And we're graced with this cutscene. Oh, Frankie, why are you up here? Guess he let himself in. To play video games. By the way, in Sims 1, he was uh, one of the Sims together with his wife who lived in that very tacky and very colorful house. Which, in my opinion, was very awesome. Oh no! It's time for violence again! Well, Bastion is over there and smiling and... Ileana won the fight! Oh, and uh, Ileana, word around the street is that you're not doing too great in the community. Because she's fighting back against her abusive son at this point. Like, I feel like that's one of those situations where they're both toxic. Or they have both been toxic. I'd say take a shot every time these two beat each other up, but... Uh, that may not be too good for your health. Okay, up here Zelda and Frankie don't know anything about what has been going on. Oh, and uh, Frankie is giving us a discount in furnishings. Uh, nice, thank you Frankie. Now let's have a water balloon fight. Oh, Zelda wants to buy some stuff and she wants to fall in love with Michael again. While she's kissing another man. I don't know, maybe Zelda is going to choose Mitchell just because she can't have Michael now. Maybe that's just the second best option. <laughs> Dating his clone. Oh, and a crush. Okay, interestingly, Zelda still seems to be in love with Dustin, but they're not friends. And Zelda now has a crush too. Okay, Parker can go to bed. He has to get up very early next morning. And Eliana is teaching Bastian to walk. Oh, and we have another new bouquet over here. Oh, Frankie wants to kiss Zelda and flirt with her. But Zelda is rather tired. So let's fulfill a couple of those wishes. Maybe get a dream date. And then we can go to bed. Hey, Parker, why aren't you in bed? You can't play video games all night. I totally understand the urge, Parker. But you have to be a little responsible for a change. Okay, we have a dream date now. Now we can say goodbye. Okay, Frankie, thanks. It's been nice. And off to bed with you, Zelda. Bastian has not quite learned to walk yet. But he's very tired and he woke up as dead. Feel free to go right back to bed. Okay, and uh, actually Parker's uh, carpool will arrive in an hour. <laughs> it's uh, 3 a.m. already. Next up, we're going back to college. We're going to see Dina's first two years in college and Don's second and third year. So look forward to that. And until then, we here at TN Cinnamon wish you a wonderful day. We encourage you to take good care of yourselves and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.